and welcome, welcome back to another video. My name is Underrated Hijabi and in today's video, I'm going to be trying the best and the worst rated chicken shops in London. Chicken shops in London are very popular. You have them in every single area, you will find a chicken shop. But most of the chicken shops sell burgers, chips, your wings, barbecue wings, uh, tower burgers, they sell like grilled chicken. So it's like a uh, an all-rounder. You'll buy a burger, chips and a drink for right now at the price of five pounds. Back in the day, three pounds. Maybe you could get yourself a two for two from Sam's. Now they don't do that anymore. Now everything has gone up. Cost of living really is trying to get us. Our aim today is trying out the best rated and the worst rated chicken shop. The first place we will be going to is the worst chicken shop with putrid cold food and terrible service according to The Sun. It is rated 1.5 star on TripAdvisor. One reviewer said, absolutely god awful, vile putrid chicken, another loot and fried pigeon gaff, greasy disgusting grey matter, one of the most vile chicken shops in London. Ordering from this Dixie's might put you in hospital. Today was an eventful day while I was eating this so-called meal. I was a little sceptical about the food because it was very true, but I thought nothing of it. As soon as I got home, I was bed bound. I didn't know what was wrong with me. I was getting excruciating stomach pains. I was uncomfortable and distressed. I couldn't walk for a couple of hours until I decided to get up. And as soon as I got up, I felt like fainting. I walked to the window and literally threw everything up. This shop should get shut down ASAP. And she also left some photos of her vomit, which I will not be disclosing. Now we look at some Google reviews. I can't believe that food was so terrible. Extra poor quality, sleepy service, never gonna order again. I order from this place a lot, at least twice a week. Today the food came cold and late. So I requested a refund, which they refused. They have just lost a customer. Overall, Dixie's is given a three food rating hygiene rating which it measures the hygienity of the foodings of the locations of the restaurant um so now what we're going to do is we're going to give the food a go and this is dixie chicken There's absolutely no tables for you guys to sit inside, so it's just takeaway only. So this is the Dixie's that I went to. I just got myself my food. Let's give it a go. Got my food from a Dixie's chicken. As soon as you walk into that Dixie's, the smell of oil, like burnt oil, just slaps you in the face. Now I smell of it right now. The first thing that I got was a chicken burger. This is a a normal burger. Three wings. I wanted to try out their wings. I got myself some chips. All together it cost me £6.49. Look at the burger. This is the burger. It's a bit light, yellowy, orangey. You know, kind of vibes. A little bit of mayo. A salad and some mayo. Okay. It looks um, very light. Bismillah. It feels like I'm eating like, like an oiled chicken. Like the mayo is trying to hide it, but it's just like there isn't any. Like if you look at the um, the breadcrumb, it's very soft, so there's no crunch whatsoever. Guys, what is that? Is that vein? As you guys can see, there is a bit of a vein. That right there. That is not cute. I'm going to try and eat around. I'm going to try and eat the other side because I don't like the view of the vein. Um, I just don't understand why it's there. It turns out this area is very, very chewy. There's absolutely no seasoning in this burger. 
This burger is literally like some a bit of flour that's been touched onto the chicken breast and been fried. It has no flavor whatsoever. And at the bottom, it just tastes raw, uh, but it's not. It's just like hard and dry chicken. Um, as you can see that it is quite dry. This burger is a two out of 10, straight up. Let's give the chips a go. Who's enough? The chips taste like last night's oil. I think that's why it smell of oil. I'm gonna add some salt, maybe that will help. But it does taste like, you know them chips here that are a little bit chewy on the side? I don't describe it like, this is how the chips look like. The inside is a bit soft. There's not much inside. But you know when the size is like quite chewy? They're a bit stingy with uh, the ketchup here. He only gave me one. Come on now. What's that going to do? And it's not even real ketchup. I asked for mayo and he was like, oh, that's the charge. And the worst thing is it's 1 p.m. So I would have thought like the oil must have been changed, but the oil's not been changed since last night. Now for my favorite thing. Whenever I go to a chicken shop, my favorite thing is to get wings. First of all, why do the wings look like this? It's like someone's just like, you know what, let me just put a bit of, let me just put a little bit of like breading on top. Like why? Whoa. Why does the wing okay this one's decent? Okay. It's not hot. The wings are not warm. They don't feel warm. I like them just coming out the oil. So we're gonna try not this buki one. That's what that one looks buki, but we're gonna give this one a go. Okay. I'm gonna give this one a go, spinner. Why is that side darker? Let me try this side, spinner. Tastes oily, salty, bare black pepper and bare black chili. It is seasoned. But it's very oily. I don't know. The oil, yeah. I don't mind if chicken's oily, right? But I don't want to be tasting yesterday's chicken oil. It's spicy though. They add some red chili to this though. The wings are spicy, but the wings are nice though. They are, they are, they are. They're, they're seasoned. They are quite small, I think that's the only downfall. What they should have done is use the same coating on the burgers, to be frankly honest with you, because those burgers are atrocious. This one looks a bit scary to eat, I'm not going to lie to you, but should I just give it a go? It looks more like a pigeon than it does a wing. <laughs> Overall, we give this Dixie's a solid, I would say, the wings brought it up. So I will give this Dixie's a 3.5, only because of the wings. The customer service was all right. I never really had a problem with their customer service. It wasn't much of an interaction, to be fair. But now we are going to be going to the best rated Dixie's Chicken. And I'm so, so excited to go there, guys. So Dixie's Chicken in Leebridge Road is a 3.9 star on Just Eat, which is where the most reviews are at. One reviewer said, I have been visiting this chicken shop for over five years and I can honestly say it's the best in the area. The quality of the food is great no matter what time of day you order. The delivery was on time and the quality was top notch. As usual, wings are hands down the best in London, at least, and I will put my neck out on that claim five star other person said always order from them and then request them to add peri peri salt to my fries always been a fan of dixie's even though they haven't got the chance to eat in the shop but one day the food is amazing and i love all the sizzler products thank you dixie team a multiple array of five star reviews and also we looked at google so on google is rated a 3.4 star fried chicken takeaway most of the reviews are five star cheap and cheerful one said samir said best niger wings and sizzler wraps another person said my regular spot to munch a bar barbecue ringer burger with mango naga rings that sounds delicious you know Achil said the food was amazing love to visit again and again the people are so nice to the customers love the naga chicken burgers john says the best chicken burger in london full stop i don't know what's in the batter but the naga stop burger is undefeated and he also took a photo of the burger guys this is the dixies what are we going to they have like all these offers and burgers and chicken strip banana and it's halal at least they're seating. Mm -hmm. 
I don't think I've ever seen bulldog. I got my food from this Dixie's. Let's go and give it a go. So I've got my food from the Dixie's. I got myself a Sprite. I wanted something a bit different because I had uh, Mirinda earlier and I don't really want Mirinda. What I noticed from this place is they don't really use plastic, uh, anything plastic except for the ketchup. By the way, guys, this is the ketchup they gave me. These are the chips that I got. They look like chips. These are the wings I got. Fully breaded, no gaps, nothing. Guys, why does the burger look 100 times better than the other one? Let me show you guys the burger. This is the burger. Mayo. Mayo. Whoa, this is a strip burger. I didn't ask for a strip burger, I asked for a fillet burger. Why did he give me a strip? That's weird, I should go back in it. It's a long drive, guys. Anyways, let's take our first bite, Bismillah. That crunch. Well, that was crunchy, a bit too salty. It is nice, but it's very dry. I hate the taste of the mayo. It's giving iron. The bag is good, but not the best. I've had better. The difference between a fillet and a strip is, yeah, a fillet is a whole breast. A strip is like... Wait, is it a strip? Nah, this is not... This is some weird strip though. What's that hanging on the side? I thought this was a strip, but it turns out it's actually a burger. It's very, very dry. Um very 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 dry <clears throat> if it was juicy and succulent that would have been amazing but it's a very dry burger this burger gets a solid six out of ten the reason why i say six, six out of ten is yeah the chicken is just dry the mayonnaise tastes off like i don't understand what i'm tasting like it tastes a bit like iron you know when you have like the I don't know whether you guys have ever tried yeah you know when you have like multivitamin drinks yeah and you could taste the iron the metallic taste I don't know why it tastes a little bit metallic. That 7 Ups is good, you know. It's not the sugar free one. I think I've been used to the sugar free one. What country is this from? This is from France. You know, this is French. That's why that 7 Up is good, you know. I taste the sugar. And these are the wings. We have three wings. Wings are looking good and they smell good. I hate rain. Absolutely no salt. This chicken wing is very like crumb crumbly, so it's very crunchy. The chicken inside is all right, but there's a really like sharp chili taste. It's like a sharp bitter chili taste mm. apart from that i do give these wings an 8 out of 10 i do they don't get 10 out of 10 because of the chili the chili just like burns my whole throat let's give the chips a go the chips look good so now mm. the chips are good the chips are good The country with a soft interior. Mm. Even the ketchup's nice, you know? I give the chips a good rating. These chips are 8 out of 10. They are. They're crispy, crunchy, and they're soft on the inside. And they have like a... Like, they don't have an oily taste. And that's one thing that I hated about the previous chips. Because of the 7-Up being sugar, like very sugary, the chips the ketchup and the customer service 
and the wing slightly. I give that Dixie's a six, whereas the one I went to earlier was 3.5. It's very interesting to see that the best and the worst rated chicken shop in London are Dixie's. Comment down below if you think there are worse chicken shop places in London so that I can go to them. Make sure you guys write the name and the area and I'll go there.